Hi, my name is Tyler Thurman. I am a transformative coach and a change agent. And if you want to find more about what it is that I do, you can join me on my uh, my online playground at www.coachtylerthurman. That's coach t y l e r t h u r m a n. dot blogspot.com, and I've got tons of free resources. Uh, lots of articles and and uh, videos like this, and the topic for this video is going to be that we feel our thinking, not our circumstances. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, I talk a lot about uh, the the inside-out nature of our human experience, or the inside-out understanding. And for some of you, I talk about this at nauseum, but it, it's the most uh, the thing that I talk about the most. And the reason for that is it's the closest thing that I've ever found when people see it for themselves. It's the closest thing I've ever found to a magic wand or or um, something that really just makes it. Uh, transformative difference in people's lives. In other words, once they see it, their lives are never the same again. They're, they get more and more wonderful. It never goes back. You never forget it. I mean, we forget it sometimes in the moment, but, but um, over time you see it more and more and more, and your life just gets better and better. And so it's worth continuing to talk about in my experience. So what do I mean by we feel our thinking, not our circumstances? Well, the current model in our society is that it's an outside-in world, or that we experience life from the outside in. In other words, something happens in our circumstances, and that, you know, we've uh, our partner says or does something to us. Uh, we've got something going on at work. We've got something going on with our finances. And that imposes feelings, emotions, or experiences on us. So that we talk about having a scary, being in a scary situation. Being in a stressful circumstance, a stressful job, a stressful relationship, we talk about a sad, uh, something sad happening in our lives. Well, that is actually a myth, and is probably the biggest myth and the most pervasive myth that faces our world, our world today, and. So if that's not how it works, then how does it work? Well, we can only ever have an emotional feeling experience of our thinking or of thought. So in other words, if I have a fearful thought, I will have a fearful experience or a fearful feeling in my body. If I have a sad thought, I will feel sadness. If I have a stressful thought, I will feel stress. And it's like uh, they're this, the two different sides of the same coin. So on one side, we've got thought, which is a formless energy. And then we've got the feeling that is associated with that thought. And they are intrinsically linked and they cannot be separated. You can't have a sad thought and a happy experience. That's not how it works. Now, when I say that we can't ever have and uh, the world can't cause us to have an emotion or a feeling, it can only ever come from thought. When I say that to people, and I say it a lot, what most people hear in their heads is they hear, well, I, yeah, I can see how 
thought definitely influences my experience or influences my emotions. Um, or it has a, a pretty big impact on my experience or emotions. And that's all well and good, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm actually asserting that 100% of our experience of life is being created through thought. It can only come from thought. It can only go one way, inside out. Uh, often people hear me talk about the virtual reality glasses example. So our, our experience of life is, is much more like having virtual reality glasses on than it is having binoculars. You know, some people, it's like, they, they think about the world as if, I'm just looking out through binoculars. And what I see is what it is on the outside. But it's much more like a projection than anything else. So the, we've got these glasses on, and the, it, it looks like reality. So it, but really we're watching a movie or a TV show. And it looks like it's out there in front of us, but what is actually happening is it's being projected, the images and sounds are being projected onto the lenses. And so what, what happens is we mistake our thinking for reality. And it turns out this is ridiculously significant. Uh, <laughs> one of my mentors, favorite coaches and authors and, and speakers, Michael Neal, he uh, sometimes in his talks he'll say, when somebody's not quite seeing this for themselves or they haven't they haven't seen the implications of it because they are pervasive and huge and transformative. Someone's they haven't quite seen it yet. They he'll say, oh no, it's it's much better than you think, and it's much worse than you think. In other words, in other words, if, you, if your experience, if you haven't seen it as a, oh my goodness, wow, I, I only can ever feel my thinking. Wow, this changes everything. If that's not your experience, then keep looking in that direction. Because I always tell people, you'll know it when you see it. It is a life-changing seeing or understanding or insight. It just it comes to you out of the blue. And, you know, so it can be facilitated by different things sometimes, but it will come to you out of the blue from your own wisdom. And you'll see it for yourself and everything will change. <sighs> the other thing that I like to point to when I'm talking about this idea that we're feeling or thinking is why it's so dang hard to see and why 99.9% .9 of the world's population doesn't see this. It's such a pervasive myth. And... One of the reasons why is it's just easier to look out in front of our eyes as opposed to behind the eyes. In other words, you look outside in the world and it's big, it's bright, it's colorful, it's solid. And, and what happens is we're in certain circumstances or situations, maybe you're in your job and you're experiencing stress, well, we look outside and we see, okay, I'm in my job and I'm feeling stress. That must be the cause of my stress. And it makes sense at first, but a little closer examination will reveal that you're not always stressed at your job. And sometimes you're experiencing well-being and peace of mind and creativity. And so it can't be the job that is the source. And the thing is, 
we just don't see it's what Sidney Banks calls the missing link of thought. We don't see it because it's invisible. It's invisible, but we can see the effects of it. It's very much like uh, gravity as a, as a principle or a law where you can't see gravity, but you can observe the effects of gravity. In other words, you know, we see falling objects and how they work and, and, and all of that. And, and thought is a principle, a creative force that we can't, we can't see. It's invisible. But we can observe the results or the implications of it, which is the feelings we have and, and the experiences that we have. And the consistent variable in all of it is thought. So, you know, without, without a fearful thought, you will not experience fear. Without a sad thought, you will not experience sadness. Without a stressful thought, you will not experience stress. Because that is the source. It is the source. The outside does not cause the inside. Even though it sure as heck looks like it does. So that's one of the way, one of the reasons it's just so hard to see. And I, I, one of my favorite analogies that, uh, that I've heard quite a few times is that it's, uh, it's kind of a, it's a trick of the light. So consider that you're walking along somewhere and you see a monster and it's a really scary looking monster and it looks really dangerous. So to the extent that monster looks real to you, you're going to come up with a bunch of strategies to, you might come up with strategies to attack the monster and take it down, or you might come up with strategies to sneak by the monster and avoid it. Or you might try to ignore it and cope with the feelings that come with it. The, the fear and the and the stress and the anxiety and you know you might do your your eating your gambling your smoking your drinking uh, you know our favorite coping mechanisms you might do any one of those but consider this the second you see wow that monster you, you know it's just a shadow <laughs> it's just a shadow and it's being uh, it's a shadow of a teddy bear, a stuffed teddy bear. Because you know and understand how light and shadows work, the nature of those things, all those strategies and coping mechanisms that you came up with before, they instantaneously become meaningless. They just, they will fall away. Because... Why would you need to do anything to a shadow, especially a shadow of a stuffed teddy bear? Uh, it's harmless and quite cuddly, I might add. <laughs> um, and so that that begins to speak to the implications of thought, because our emotional feeling experience of life is only ever the shadow of a thought. It's only the shadow of a thought. And when we begin to see that, the world outside of our heads, it gets a whole lot gentler. It's a whole lot less scary. When, when we know it, it can't quite get us in the ways that we previously thought it could. And and again, one of the reasons this is so significant is because 99% of our time is spent on trying to get a more wonderful life. Well, the main ingredient of a more wonderful life is, is mental well-being, peace of mind, joy, fulfillment. Those all come from the inside. And when you begin to see the truth of it, or the trick of the light, all those previous strategies about 
I got to get more money to get happy. I got to get a better partner to get happy. I got to change my partner, make him behave differently so I can be happy. I got to get my kids to do things differently. I got to get a different job, a more fulfilling job, better job, less stressful job. All those things, they begin to make less and less and less sense. Because you're only ever feeling your thinking, not your circumstances, not the world outside you. To the extent you can see that, life gets more and more simple. And a lot of it, in my experience, can be boiled down to, well, what appeals to me now? If my well-being's not out there, if my reducing stress isn't out there, if my trying to get away from fear, if I don't have to change anything out there to change how I feel in here, and in fact, the less I try to do to change it, the more well-being I experience, because that's our nature, then life gets really simple. I talk about sometimes as being unemployed on the inside. And when, when that happens, things get quiet. We get more and more access to our wisdom, our innate wisdom, that will guide us every step of the way when we can hear it. But we can't hear it when we're trying to, all these different strategies and coping mechanisms to try to change how we feel. And so it will transform your life when you begin to see, I'm only ever feeling my thinking. Now, there's more elements to this, and I'll, I'll get into those more in, in some videos in the future. You can also check out past video on the three principles, and the first one is on the nature of thought. And uh, that goes into some more detail about some of the other, the other components of this. But the big piece is I can only ever feel my thinking. And even when it looks like I'm feeling the world or I'm feeling that person who's doing that to me, I'm experiencing them directly, when you know that you're not, wow, that makes things more simple and, and more wonderful in my experience. So I wish you well, and get curious about this. Explore it for yourselves. It's not enough for me to just tell you and for you to have a, an intellectual understanding. you got to see it for yourself. So if you're hearing me speak and, and you're like, hmm, is it really all being created from the inside out? Is the source of all of my emotions thought? Can that be? Go explore that. Go check it out for yourself. And what I know is you will begin to see in those instances where you thought before that the world was imposing itself on you emotionally and experientially, that it's still just thought. It was just a trick of the light all along, a shadow. And when you see it, your life will transform. So get curious about it and go investigate. And you'll have insights about this that come from your own wisdom and you'll have that experience that I'm talking about, about the holy crap, holy moly. This, the implications of this are infinite in my experience. So I wish you the best. And again, if you're interested in checking out my work more, visit my website, www.coachtylerthurman.blogspot.com. And also, if you're interested in a complimentary coaching conversation or consultation, give me a call. Give my office a call, 503-389-3778. And I look forward to continuing this conversation with you soon.